Welcome to Anywhere Math, I'm Jeff Jacobson and today we're going to talk about a few methods you can use for solving proportions. Let's get started. Alright, here's our first example. Uh, we've got two proportions we're going to solve, and the way we're going to solve it is just using mental math. We're not going to do anything real fancy. Um, so for this first proportion, 10 over 14 is equal to x over 21. I'm solving for x. Now, I'm not going to use cross multiplication. We're not going to do that yet. That's going to be the next method. Right now, if I look at this, I notice that 10 over 14, I can simplify that. Right? I could make that. Uh, 5 over 7. Okay, And now I know that uh, 5 over 7 has to be equivalent to x over 21. right? So basically I can think to myself, well, if my ratio is 5 over 7, another equivalent ratio would be 10 over 14, right? Add 5, add 7. Another one would be doing the same thing. Add 5, add 7 would be 15 over 21. And Well, there we go. 21, 21. That means x has to be 15. Now, obviously, you don't want to have to do this every time, right? Add 5, add 7, add 5, add 7. That takes a long time. Uh, so instead, you can hopefully think, well, from 7 directly to 21, I can just multiply by 3. And if I'm multiplying or dividing, I do the same thing to the numerator. Okay, So then 5 to get to 15, notice, also multiply by 3. So we can use that information. I'm just going to erase that and show you what to do here. I can think, well, 7 to 21, again, just multiply by 3. So to get from 5 to my x, I multiply by 3, and 5 times 3 is 15. So x is equal to 15. It's nice and quick, very simple, not a lot of, not a lot of difficult calculations, just all mental math. Let's try the next one. 7 over 16 is equal to x over 4. Now, there's nothing to simplify there, and I don't need to. If I look over here, Remember, I'm trying to get to x. That's really key. So I'm trying, I have to go this way. I, I'm not going the other way because I don't know what x is. I'm going from 7 to get to x. So I got to think, well, how do I get from 16, sorry, 16 to 4? Well, that's simple. I just divide by 4. Right? 16 divided by 4 is 4. So 7 divided by 4 will give me x. So x is equal to 7 fourths, whoops, that's 7 thirds, 7 fourths, or I could write that as a mixed number, 1 and 3 fourths. And we're done. So very simple, using, met sorry, using mental math, that's our first method. Here's some to try on your own. All right, here's example number two. Uh, I've got two proportions I'm going to solve, and this time the method I'm going to use is cross products or cross multiplication. Same thing. Um, so for the first one, x over 8 is equal to 7 tenths. Now, the reason we're going to use cross products is because, first, that's already simplified, and second, if I'm trying to go uh, 2x from 10 to 8, that's not easy, right? You're going to be dividing, but it's not dividing by a whole number, so it's not easy to use mental math in this situation. Always try to use mental math first. That's going to be the easiest and quickest. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then, like this situation, we can use cross products. So cross products are very simple. Uh, just like the name sound, you're finding the products of going across. So the products of x and 10, well, Product means multiplication, so x times 10 is 10x. That's going to be equal to 
the products of 8 and 7, which is 8 times 7 is 56. So now we've just set up an equation. Now all we need to do is solve for x. So 10x equals 56. I'm going to divide by 10 to both sides to get x alone. And I get x equals 5.6. Okay. So it's a little longer than mental math. You've got an extra step here where you've got to solve your equation, but still not too bad. Let's try the next one. Again, this is already simplified. It's not easy to go from 4 to 14, right? It's going to be multiplying by a decimal. So this, again, is why we're going to use cross products. So I'm going to find the products going across uh, 4 and V. So that's going to be 4V is equal to 3 times 14, which is, what, 42? And then solve your equation. Divide by 4 on both sides. So I get V is equal to, what's that going to be, 10.5, uh, I believe. Yeah. So V is equal to 10.5. So again, this is solving proportions using cross products. Here's some to try on your own. All right, here's our last example. Write and solve a proportion to complete the statement. So 10 miles, that's the abbreviation for miles, is approximately, notice it's not an equal sign, okay? Uh, this sign, kind of the wave looking one, is means approximately. It's approximately how many kilometers? Um, well, we need to know a little bit more information to solve this, and if you Google, um, kind of unit conversions or something like that, you'll be able to find out that uh, one mile is approximately 1.61 kilometers. That's rounded. That's not an exact uh, number. That's why I wrote it approximately. Now, I'm going to solve this using a proportion. Well, I'm going to use this unit conversion here, uh, this conversion factor, in my proportion. So I'm going to say, well... 1.61 kilometers to one mile, that's going to be my first uh, ratio, is going to be equal to, I'm trying to find kilometers. I don't know what it is, so that's going to be my x. Kilometers were in the numerator, so my x is also going to be in the numerator because that is representing kilometers. Now, in my denominator, I had 100 miles. Right? Miles, miles, kilometers, kilometers. Okay? I could put kilometers here if I want, but I'm just going to leave it as x. Uh, so that's the first step. Here is my proportion. Now I need to solve it. Uh, and again, we've, we just learned two ways, right? Mental math and cross products. Always try to do mental math first. If it works, great. If not, then you can go to cross products. So if I look here, I'm trying to get to x. Well, from one mile to 100 miles, that's real simple. Just multiply, I'll do it different color. Multiply by 100. So I do the same thing here. To get to x, I'm just going to multiply by 100. So 1.61 kilometers times 100. That's very simple. Just move the decimal point two times to the right. So my answer is 161 kilometers. Okay. X is 161 kilometers. So 100 miles is approximately 161 kilometers. Here's some more to try on your own. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please subscribe.